Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, HD here. Once again, welcome to another YouTube video. All right, so today's video, I don't know how, how long it's going to be, but as you guys know, I always like to make my videos as simple as possible or um, as most explaining as possible and and yeah so today's video as you guys can probably see from the ch uh from the title of the video how to properly defend in head to head most of you guys i know either can't play head to head or you play head to head and you're not enjoying the game because you don't know how to defend or you don't know how to attack and so yeah this video that i'm gonna make um is basically gonna improve or maybe help you guys improve in ways that you can defend properly in the game i don't know depends on your play style but yeah um without further ado let's get right into the loading screen real quick and all right so as you guys can see we're on the game right now and i'm gonna go to head to head real quick and if we take a look i'm currently 92nd for top 250 so i am in currently in top uh 100 eight days left for the season to be over i will be playing more head to head basically if i want to keep my spot and if i move a rare there you go 92nd place with 2 million uh 51k fans um so if i want to keep my place i have to keep playing or else i won't be able to uh keep the top 100 so basically we're gonna be watching some of my gameplays from my live streams and i'm going to break down how i defend in each gameplay and yeah so disclaimer before we get into um my gameplay and breaking it down for you guys because mostly on youtube um when i try to i don't know i don't really search it up but like how to defend on head to head people just post their gameplay but they don't really like tell you guys um how to you know how to do this or how to do that and basically i'm gonna put a different a bunch of different scenarios on the screen that i'm gonna be telling you guys basically how to properly defend in head to head and hopefully this helps you guys out um yeah but before we get um to the point of this video i just want to let you guys know mechanics are in this game for a reason okay so the cross spammer the lob merchant the uh, kickoff glitch those are all in the game and the only one i can say i think is a little unfair would be the um the kickoff glitch and if you guys don't know what that is um i'll show a clip uh of the kickoff glitch and yeah and basically explain how the kickoff glitch works and everything on that clip so that is the only thing i can say is a bit unfair but everything else is fair game if you don't want people crossing on you learn how to defend crosses if you don't want people you know um lobbing over you make sure you have your players in the right place sometimes the ball is still gonna go over you but it's how you react that matters um so yeah as i'm saying um i am better than all of you guys or else you wouldn't have clicked this video <laughs> it's a joke uh i don't i i or is it <laughs> but yeah um so basically uh yeah let's just uh get right into the video man all right boys so the first thing you need to do before we get into um the gameplay and all that um let me move my person real quick over here first thing you need to do i'm going to need you to go to your settings go to your settings go to preference and preference it's where it's all at it's where it's all at this is how i play and I have to move my person again. Um, this is how I play. So gestures only. Gestures only means if it's gesture only is on, you don't get shoot button. No shoot button, no pass button. You have to tap on every on everything that you do. You have to swipe to shoot. No shoot button, none of that. So if you want shoot button, and if you want all that stuff, turn your gestures off. I have it off. Auto pass and shoot. You want that on because if a goalkeeper saves a ball and you're not quick enough to react to hit shoot the auto shoot will do it for you auto pass auto pass really doesn't happen unless you unless you're you're completely auto playing completely auto playing then that's when that happens um but yeah so auto switching is the main one that i need you guys to turn off Auto switching, I can tell you my gameplay has got 150% better because I have auto switching off. When I had auto switching on, the max the max um, fans that I got was 1.5, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 
1.3 and then I go on win lose win lose because what auto switching does right what it does I'm gonna explain it right now and then I'll show you guys in some of the clips what auto switching does auto switching is when you're locked onto a player let's say you're locked onto your midfielder and once your opponent passes that midfielder at a certain distance auto switch switches from that midfielder and locks onto a defender and now you're locked onto the defender and now it makes you draw that defender out to come uh to come collect the ball from your opponent attacking and your opponent then has space to pass it around you and do all that stuff so it's very important that you have auto switching off so it doesn't mess with your defensive mentality because any random switch because auto switching goes by the ball it follows the ball the closer the ball is to your player the more auto switching will switch to that player that the ball is close to and sometimes that's good but you don't want that because it drags players out of position and when players are out of position that's opportunity for your opponent to score large virtual joystick i have that off my small i like it small because you know i stream and all that stuff um but you can keep it big it's up to you large buttons i have that big because i want to be able to tap my buttons um and as we scroll down, game controls is off for me. Virtual stick on the left and the right. Yeah, game controls, it's off for me. Always attack uh, left to right cameras uh, spawns as you always attack towards the right side. No, I keep I keep all that stuff on. I keep all that stuff on. I don't I don't want to mess with all that extra stuff. But the things that I tell you to turn over are the most important. Okay, boys. So first game here. If you look to the top right, watch what I do. First game. I've played this guy before, Jim Peru. Uh, we've played a lot of times, and mostly we either tie or I win or you know what happens. It's, he wins and stuff like that. Um, uh, but yeah, look. First thing I do, I switch to defending. That was the first thing I did. I switched to defending. If you look top right, I went from balance to defending. That's how I play. I play on defending and if you say oh but when you're on defending you don't create a lot of chances and all that stuff yes you do if you're playing correctly now let me break this up for you guys this field is four squares it is four squares so there's the halfway line going uh going horizontally and then there's an imaginary line vertically going all the way across. So you have four different squares. That's how I imagine it. So with that four different squares is how you want to place your players and defend. Based on your formation, I recommend that you guys find a formation you're very comfortable with and a formation that you've been playing with for a while. If you don't have one and you're just a formation switcher, I would recommend um, playing on ranked matches with a few formations. Um, try formations out on ranked matches um, or seasons even in seasons you can do that as well just to get the gist of how to defend but yeah the field is four squares one actual vertical line and one horizontal one horizontal and then one vertical invisible line that is how I imagine the field is when I'm playing this game so first thing I do is look what I'm doing here I'm drawing my opponent out I'm passing it around in the back as you can see from Zuma to Akpa Akpro and I'm passing it in the back and there we go look I heal to heal now I'm gonna pause it here again skill move in this game is very important when you know how to use it and before you start your game you have to have a mentality of how you want to play what type of player do you want to be some people are just one-minded Either you want to go down line and you don't know how to cross or you just don't know how to create chances for yourself at all. Now, I will explain that further in this video on what you can do because I do it all. Once again, like I said, any mechanic that's in this game is part of the game. Professional football, you see players crossing a lot. So the word cross spamming, if you know what spamming is, is continuously doing something. Okay, so crossing without the word spamming is okay. Don't let anyone say it's not. It's part of the game. It's okay. A lot of people do it, even people at the top. I've played people at the top with 3 million fans, and they still cross. They cross either way. Because if you have no other option but to cross, and you want to create a chance that you can score, you have to do it. Every opportunity, because you never know about this game. So... Um, right now, we're not going to talk a lot about player position. As you guys can see, the way this guy is defending, he has three players on me. So basically, what he's doing here is he has auto defend on. So he, the player that's in front of me and the ball, the guy that's going for the ball, 
he's using that guy and then pretty much the one behind me there is um the one that has auto uh the auto lock on oh actually he's on to Lewin. he's on Lewin. so the other two on me one was positioned and is not pushing towards me and then he has um auto defend on to drag the second one uh with me but yeah so i'm gonna hit play and as you can see he got the ball there um and he kept it in somehow and now i'm going to pause here I'm going to pause here and let you guys know what's what's going on. This is why you need auto switching off. This is why you need it off. As you can see, I'm currently locked on a Calvert Lewin, right? I'm locked on a Calvert Lewin, and the good thing about this game is player positioning. Some player stats actually are pretty good. Some players, some player stats with player positioning, that's where it comes to when you're not locked onto the player. Look into my midfield. If you can see their Akpa Akpro is going is going back into the midfield he's running back into the midfield because i'm not locked onto him and and auto switching hasn't switched on him so he's using his positioning in game to go back as you can see dembele as well is running back and my opponent has the ball and i'm controlling calvert lewin so in this point you don't want to be controlling anyone in your midfield at this point like i said the vertical line and the horizontal line so we are in um we are in square two we're in square two so square two square two you need with the formation i'm running i didn't show you guys the formation i was running but i'm running the four five one i will show you guys the formation i'm running um later in the video but i'm running a four five one and the way i'm running is i have five midfielders in the midfield is where i want to thrive four five one i only have one striker but i like to use my striker to defend just in case just so my opponent doesn't play the ball back and so once he's in the middle i want to keep him in the middle and then i want to try and get the ball from the middle if he can play out of the middle that's fine i just move my players to where the ball is so there's four squares as you can see four invisible squares and he's in my square two so with square two i can lock on the dembele I can use Kavaluin, I can use Akpa Akpro, and then I can use Mekelele. Those are it. I can't switch to anyone else. Those are the four that I want to use in square two. Actually, in square two, basically, you don't want to use Mekelele because Mekelele is, a, is part of my back line. He is my right back. You don't want to use him. Well, you want to use Akpa Akpro, Dembele, and Kavaluin. Those are the three I can actually use in square two um, to where if he does escape me from square two, I can still be able to defend okay so he's in my square two right now just basically entered my square two so what i'm doing here if you can see i'm using i was using calvert lewin i was using calvert lewin right i was drawing calvert lewin back he passed the ball and i switched to akpa akpro and then switched off of akpa akpro to where the ball is now i'm on rebit i'm on rebit and now look what i do i call dembele I call Dembele. While staying on Rebbe, I call Dembele. This forces one of two things for my opponent to do. He has two options here. He can pass that ball through to whoever his striker is up there. And as you can see in the middle, I have Zuma. I have Lenglet. I have Akpa Akpro. And then I have, I don't know who that other midfielder is right there. He's kind of looking kind of dark. That's Zapata. And then I have Zapata. I have that one striker. Look around that striker. I have that one striker covered by like five guys. So if he plays it in that middle, I can work my way to get the ball. And guys, guess what? If he plays it in the middle, I don't want to lock onto Zuma. Zuma will not help you here. You will get beat if, if the player is good enough. Don't lock onto Zuma. Always lock onto someone that's behind the person on the ball. So let's see, for instance, where does he play it? There we go. He plays it to the guy in the middle. What I do with Zuma, look what I do with Zuma. Instead of keeping Zuma right there, I run back with Zuma. I run, I'm because I know he's going to push forward. So I run back with Zuma a little bit, which he then realizes it causes him to play the ball to his second striker and switch, switch over Zuma on Linglet. And now I don't end it there. Look at where I think that's Cavaloon or Diaz. The pass that was made into that striker, he's going to roulette and then the player behind him right there that player look at the run he's making he's making that through run and now i call second defender for zuma i call second defender for zuma you don't have to do this you don't have to do this 
most of what I'm explaining is kind of hard to explain without edits. So once I put the edit on there, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. So Zuma, I have now called him as a second defender because I want Zuma to intercept that ball to where his striker who played it is running. And also Zuma can also collect the ball if I need be from the player who has the ball right now. So look at that. See, Zuma is now making it a 2v1. We've isolated the, uh, we've isolated the striker that had the ball before. And now we have his striker with the ball. We have to, He can't turn back. And the only thing he can do now is go into Langlet. And there we go. I don't know how he got away with the ball there. It's just EA logic. But Langlet was supposed to get that. And he is going to have a shot for the corner. He's going to have to shot for the corner. Now I'm going to try and not pause it a lot. Um, corners, it's very hard to defend corners. It's just very hard to defend corners. But we did well here to defend it. And yeah, he got the ball once again. And he's playing it out wide. I noticed and then switch. And then, guys, let me explain something. Second defender is very good when you know how to use it. I've had moments where I've, I haven't used it properly. And it's cost me. But if you know how to use it. It's good. You don't want to stay on second defender for more than more than three seconds. I would say you don't want to for more than three seconds, because if you do what you're doing is if you do switch players, since second defender is still activated, second defender can switch as well. It's like auto defending second defender can switch to another player of yours. So if you're trying to close down on someone and they're already gone, lock onto someone that's in lock onto someone that's in front of the ball and then call second defender so someone else can come down to help you but basically what's going on here i got the ball back pass it to zapata and i'm trying to go forward i try to lob it try to do a heel to heel he read it well and now he plays it back in the middle once again we're going back to the four squares we're going back to the four squares so the four squares he's in my square two again he's in my square two so i can bring out Cavaloon. I can use Cavaloon, I can use Dembele, and then Akpa Agro and, um, and Rabiot switches off and on, so I can also use um, uh, Rabiot there to defend. And now he's still in square two, and now he's in my square four. He is in my square four. And this is where it gets very, very interesting. Look at in my square four. This is why this formation for me works so well, because I keep my opponents in the midfield. I like to keep them in the midfield. Now, I'm locked onto Akpa Akpro, right? Rebia is still up there. But look, Rebia is there because of his positioning. Now, it's going to be hard for him to make that back pass if he wants to turn. The only player he can play it to is that guy right there. But... If he is going to go and play it through, look at Zuma's positioning. Look at my back four. Look at my back four. Okay, so Zuma is higher than everyone else. And that can be very costly, but also it can be very good because if he plays that ball through, Zuma will be able to get there. So let's continue. And he doesn't play it through. I intercept it with Dembele and then Akpa Akpa try to make the pass. It gets blocked. And now he's played it through the midfield and he played it down line one roulette and he scores. Okay, so it doesn't show a full replay of what happened, but if you look on the screen, that goal, I'm telling you, is basically him just switching the field very fast on me. Um, but yeah, there's sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. Um, yeah, once again, see my game plan. See my game plan, draw out his defense, and here we go. I'm drawing them out. I tried to do a lob ball. I was trying to think out of, outside of the box. He is in my square four, so... He's in my square four. So my square four, again, is Ribia, Akpa Akbro, and Dembele. Oh, uh, that's square two. That's square two. And so I use those three players to get the ball. If he was in, um, if he was in my square one, it would be my Diaz. It would be Akpa Akbro, and it would be Zapata. The the reason is for the four five one. There's one center mid. There's one center mid. So Akpa Akbro. The reason I like him is because he can go in all four squares for me. Like Papo can go in all four squares. He's my center mid. And then everyone else I just have in certain um, in certain brackets. 
So if we continue, I tried to lob it once again and it wasn't working properly. So look, I, I was locked on a Diaz. I locked off. Now I'm on Cavaluin, second player for Rabier. I turned off second player, second player again. And now I'm controlling Cavaluin. Cavaluin is no longer playing striker for me. He's no longer a striker for me. I'm using him as an extra defensive player to throw my opponent off. Now, if he plays that ball back up top, that's why I keep switching a second player off and on because I don't want Rebi to push up top. I want him to play that ball back up top. I want to draw Rebi in so we can defend and I want him to play that ball up top so he can switch the field if need be. But I don't I don't want I don't want him to 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 have to I mean he could do a one two into the guy in the middle over there, but he's not going to. He plays it straight in the middle. And now you can see Akba Akbro once again is there. And then Dembele with one roulette by accidentally bring it back. And he plays it. And now we are in square four. This is Danger Ranger Angel Ranger. I don't know what I just said, but we are in square four. And the players I can use in square four goes from Mekelele, goes to Zuma, goes to Akba Akbro, and goes to Rebi. For square four. So as you can see, I'm already locked on a Zuma, getting ready to move Zuma into the proper positioning. And then everyone else, look at that. Rebia is following the ball. Akpa Akpro is staying there. And then I have um uh I have Zuma locked on. The reason is so I can manually hold Zuma in that position because I don't want to be on Rebia, I don't want to be on Mikaleli, and then Zuma will want to push forward. Um, because it's in game mechanic. You can't help that the defender is not just gonna stand there the whole time So I want to hold Zuma in his position because I know the ball is coming Look, I put Zuma in the way and then switch off of him. It's just positioning matters So I take Zuma I put him in the position I want and switch off and Zuma will stay there for a little bit And then I switch off of him So we go into the second half and my new game plan is to once again defend defend and try to get an attack off as you can see here, my line is stepped up a little bit higher, and now we are in, uh, this is square four. There we go, we're in square four. So I'm calling Akpa Akpro over, and I'm, I'm, I'm on to Linglet, calling Akpa Akpro over, but then I know I have Diaz and Mendy that I can also use, depending on how my opponent switches that ball. But he is not going to, because once again, look, I'm compacted with those four players in square four, so I don't want to be on Ribbit. Um, that's the thing with uh, with auto defending switched off. If you do not switch off of a player by yourself, you will keep on to that player no matter what. That's why it's a little bit. If you have auto defending, if you have auto switching on, that's why it takes a little bit uh, to get used to it because your player doesn't switch for you. You have to manually do it and think about it. So I have second defending on, and I'm bringing Akpa Akpro over to put pressure on Cavaluing. I'm stuck onto Langlet because I want to keep Langlet in that position so he doesn't jab. He doesn't jab on Cavaloon. And then, as you can see, Mendy is standing and then Diaz is just dropping back a little bit. Um, and then he roulettes through and then I switched off to Akpa Akpro and then I go to Diaz because I don't want him going down the line. That's what it looked like. So I put Diaz on the line. I switched off from Akpa Akpro. And I put Diaz on the line so he doesn't go on the line because I don't want him going on the line. I want to stop those crosses. And then he managed to put the ball out. It's my ball now. And then I'm going to play in the midfield. As you can see, I'm going to switch it all the way wide this way. And then we have Dembele over there. He knows I'm trying to go down the line. So I'm going to keep the ball in the middle. Play a huge ball over the top. And then Diaz, unfortunately, gets tackled by his Mekalele. So decent defending. But it, it is my ball over time. Uh, Zapata once again on the ball. And I'm going for the cross here. Again, crossing is allowed. And then Mendy with the big boy finish. This is why you want to cross just in case. So you, you have multiple options. I just decided to take that shot with Mendy and it went in. So Mendy dropped in uh, because Diaz was still out wide. So Mendy came in and took Diaz position. And yeah, so now we're once again defending. He's in the middle of the park. He's in my square two. So thinking about this game, you also have to read your opponent and how your opponent wants to play. You can see every time we start off from kickoff or we started from something, I'm always saying he's in square two. He's in square two. Watch how your opponent plays. My opponent likes to run on the left side. He likes to come from the left side. Now he has on Diaz. The players I can use is Ribiet. Um, actually, he's not in squared. He's in four. He skipped two. He's gone to four. So I have Mikaleli. He's He went to three. He went to three. Sorry. So 
it's one, two, three, and then four will be on the other side. So he skipped my square two because he, he's now attacking. When a player goes straight through, he's now attacking. So I have Akpa Akpro, I have Ribiet, and at this point, I also have Mekelele. I don't have Kavaluin anymore. Kavaluin can only go from striker to square one to square two. That's it, the top half of the field. You don't want to bring him back all the way to the bottom half because if you get the ball, it takes time for him to get back up there. So all he has is square one and two. That's all your striker should have, depending on your formation. That's all your striker should have. This is how I'm defending. So now I have Akpa Akpro, I have Ribia, and then I have Mekelele. That those are the those are who I have in my uh, in my square three. Those are who I have. Those are who I can use to defend. I don't want to drag any other person out of position. Um, I want them to stay in position based on where the ball is. So we're gonna continue. He has Diaz, as you can see. I'm staying. Oh, this is very important, boy. All right, as I was saying, look, look. I realized right there in that instant. I realized he wasn't gonna play that ball. ball this is why you you want your players to be positioned well i realized he wasn't going to play that ball through so i took ribiet and i sent i took ribiet and i sent ribiet back i sent ribiet back um because i realized he wasn't going to play that ball through and then we ended up getting the ball with ribiet and i played it into cavaluin uh unfortunately cavaluin didn't get it but there we go again akpa akpro he is my center mid as much as Akpa Apro can go anywhere, his main position is center mid to stay in that middle of the park. Um, and so now I'm trying to get an attack going. So far, my only chance have came and then I'm going to try and look for the cross. There's nothing else to do here. I'm not going to drag the ball back. Ooh, and just wide from Ribiet to give me the 2-1 lead. Um, yeah, hopefully this video is helping you guys out. This video is very, very long. It's going to be a long video. It is a breakdown on how to properly defend. I'm going to show you guys about two of my gameplay. There we go. And then I'm going to use Dembele and then I'm going to switch uh, to Dembele and then back to Rebia. It's a constant switch for me, but it's basically to keep my players in position. It's to keep them in position. And there we go. I'm going to use Mekelele. I know he wants to go down the line, so I'm going to keep Mekelele down that line. In fact, what would have been better here is if I wasn't locked onto Mekelele and then moving around with him. Because if I'm moving around with him, he can beat me. He can still beat me with a heel to heel because I'm manually moving Mekelele without defending. But if I have switched on to another player and try to bring that player, because the reason I was on Mekelele like that was because I didn't know if he was going to pass it. If I try to move another player out of position and Dembele was too far out to call him. So what I was doing was just circling with him with Mikelele and to see what's going on. Luckily, I won the ball here and he, he didn't exploit me like that. But we are going to play it up top to Kavaluin and I'm on to Diaz right now. Did a little. Now we have Akpa Akpro and then I'm going to switch the field here to Dembele. Dembele, great touch. I'm not going to cross just yet. And then I'm going to roulette and then going for the cross. And there we go. He managed to block up the cross. And he's trying to clear the ball. He can't clear it. Akpa Akpro there once again. I'm going to play back to Dembele. He missed it there. Back to Rebbe. Final cross in 90th minute. And bam. There we go. That is not considered cross spamming. That's not considered cross spamming. That's my game plan. That's my mentality. All his players are already back there. He canceled out my first cross. And my goal was to let's see if we can put another cross in the box, but back post and to see who would be there to get the ball. And Cavalo and Shirley was there. And that's how we won 2-1. I must have, he's going straight down the middle. And then as you can see, Cavalo is there. So I must have missed a few things. But if you guys just like to watch the gameplay and you pick up things by yourself, that's good. So there we go. He had 2.3 million fans. Um, so yeah, this was one of my games uh, in stream. I'm heading up to the to the two million fans um, and yeah, so All right, as you guys can see like I said, I was gonna show you guys the team that I'm using um, for me The way I'm playing right now. I'm pretty I'm pretty organized. I like to stay organized So as I'm saying I'm going to do it right here um, So it's a little bit easier for you guys so you guys can understand what I'm talking about when I say there are four boxes for me um, so yeah, so it goes one line horizontally, one line vertic uh, vertically. 
Akba Akbar is my center mid, so he can go in either one of those boxes if need be. His stats are very good. I like it. Um, and then for box two, for um, for box one, I have Diaz, I have Zapata, and I have Akpa Akro. That is my box one. And I also have Cavaloon if need be to drop Cavaloon. For box two, I have Akpa Akro, I have Ribia, and I have Dembele, and I have Cavaloon if I need to drop Cavaloon. Box three. I have Dembele, I have Akpa Akpro, I have Zuma, I have Mikaleli. That is my box three, but sometimes you will see Rabia drop in because he does have high to high work and defensive rate, which is what I like. And for my box four, I have Lenglet, I have Mendy, I have uh, I have Diaz, and I have Zapata. So like I said before, Cavaloon can only stay on, on the, uh, go in the first two boxes because you don't want to bring your striker all the way down. And then when you get the ball, you don't have anyone to play it up there too. So one, two boxes, his job is done once the ball passes that line. But basically that is my defensive mentality. That's what I try to implement into my gameplay. Um, and it's not, it's, it won't work for you if you have auto switching on because the game will always be switching on and off your player and you don't know who is switching to uh and sometimes you have to tap a player to switch to them because when you press switch it goes to a, another player for some reason i don't know why but yeah that is how i'm gonna break this down for you guys hopefully that opens up a lot more um opportunity for you guys to stay organized while defending organization and defending doesn't only go on the pitch you can also plan off the pitch on what you want to do like I said, skill move are also very good as well. So yeah, I just told you guys, I imagine four boxes and whoever, sometimes you won't be able to because there are different scenarios in the game to where you'll see Cavaloon in the middle and you want to defend with Cavaloon, but you want to stay organized. That is the main thing. And this is how I'm staying organized by imagining four different boxes. You can do the same with your formation. Um, just select certain players that can reach a certain box and then you have to switch off of them. And then the certain players that can reach a certain box and you have to switch off of them. But you don't want everyone intercepting in the same box or someone who's not blowing in that box goes in that box that's called having the player out of position all right so, boys so we're gonna jump into the second and final match here this is the one all right so as you can see top right i switched to defending and now defending it gives you less attacking option but it makes you less vulnerable going on all out attack is good but if someone is composed enough one long ball and you're beat because alter attacking you know what that what that does it pushes all your player forward one long ball and you are beat so if someone's on ultra attacking and you're on defending and you find out that they're pressing you very much yes you're gonna make some mistakes because passing is trash in this game stay calm when you're losing stay calm try not to rage trust in trust in your ability to stay calm keep a cool head and keep with your formation keep with your tactics that is how you want to implement that in, into this game as well because when you lose it you lose it and i have lost it before and i've been beat because i've lost uh composure i was losing to someone i wasn't supposed to be losing i lost composure because the game wasn't going my way and i lost the composure and i just i i said fuck it i just lost it all but this is where you want to stay composed. You want to stay calm. I use defending. You can use balanced. But please, don't use ultra attacking until it's like the 80th minute or something like that. Or going into the 80th. Anyway, anything can still happen. If you're a goal down, I can see why you want to do that. But if it's 1-1 one, one, or you're up, guys, this is verse. This is head to head. If you're up one no in real life, stay calm. You don't have to keep attacking. You don't you don't need to score 20 goals to beat your opponent. A win is a win. You can win one no. Now I'm not saying pass the ball around in the back the whole time, but choose your scenarios. That is another important thing. That is why I wasn't able to get to where I am today. Um to in the two million fans. Uh um during the during before the the season ended last season uh for head to head uh, for me to claim that other 90 overall i wasn't able to do it because i wasn't choosing my scenarios like i would be up one no and i'm attacking attacking like you don't need to score two two or 50 more goals to prove to yourself what are you proving to yourself you don't need to play attacking football 
This is an attack in football, guys. It's head to head. Stay calm, stay composed. When you're up a goal, make sure you work your opponent. Make make them mentally like this. Make them make to mentally break pass the ball people get frustrated i get frustrated when i see people just passing the ball too much and then they play that one through ball and then they have an attack that's what that's the mentality you want to play with you want to get the ball and you want to pass around bring let your opponent come and you know just come and press you and make sure you know a pass ahead of who you're passing to so right now dembele has the ball i have two options i can pass that back bro or I can act like I'm passing act back, bro, make a turn and pass to Mikelele, who's out on the line. So, like you see, I act like I'm passing act back, bro, make a turn, pass to Mikelele, make a, made another turn, pass to Ribier, and then faked it, heel to heel, kept it in, and now I have a throw in. Or the ball's, the ball's still in for some reason. But yeah, so going back to the defensive thing, look what happened to Dembele. Look what happened to Dembele. Because... And this is why I like this game so much, or this is why I like the, this game initial thought. Usually, I don't, I, I don't say this about like E and stuff like that. Dembele is now in my middle. Why is that? Because Akpa Akpro is in his position, and Rebbe is in his position. The game is not gonna keep Dembele there if Akpa Akpro has taken that position and Rebiet is also there. Rebiet is in the right position, but Akpa Akpro has been dragged out because he had the ball before. So what the game did is Dembele realized that using the in-game uh, uh, in-game mechanics, Dembele realized, and now Dembele is in my midfield. And so Dembele passes to Mekelele, and I pass back to Zuma. The reason that I say pick your position or pick when to put yourself in danger and when not to put yourself in danger. Look at where my back line is right now. I have Zuma, I have Linglet, I have, um, it's not a flat back four. It's not a flat back four. As you can see, I have two center backs, but look at where my left back and my right back are. It's not a back four. I could have used, the, I could have taken that ball with Mekelele and try to play it up top. And that's what a lot of you would have done. And if that ball gets intercepted, Holland is going, um, I think that's his Cavaloon as well is going they're going and now is a it's a 2v2 and then Mikaleli and, uh, and Mendy will be able to recover but I don't think Mikaleli will be able to recover so what I did was pass to Zuma pass to Langlet um, and then pass in the middle and then held the ball and then pass back and then pass back and then now I'm, I'm bringing all of them back on this side again and then I was going to try and pass to uh, Mikaleli, but he just wasn't there. Dembele is still in the midfield and Mikaleli is out wide. So there you go. I'm defending with Dembele. So I'm using Dembele as a center mid. As you can see, Akpa Akpro is not there. I'm going to heal to heal this. And I could have played. Let's take this back a couple steps. So when I play that ball to Akpa Akpro, heal to heal, look at my options. Look at my options. I could have played that Dembele. I could have crossed in a Cavaluan. And I had Zapata running in as well. This should have definitely been a goal. It should have definitely been a goal. But what I did was I held on to it heel to heel and went for the shot. And the ball deflected back in. And then Zapata and all of them were already there. Because 4-5-1, I have cams. I have cams who will attack. That is why I like it. So when I defend and I'm done defending and I'm counterattacking, I have cams who will also come up because they're cams. They're not CDMs to stay back. They're not center mids to hover in the middle. They're cams. They're attacking and defending. That's why I'm using the 4-5-1. But easy head of a Zapata and we go up 1-0. No. We go up 1-0. No. And once again, I'm using the square thing. He is now in my square one. And I can use Cavaluan. I can use Zapata and Akpa Akpro. And then I can switch to Diaz. As you can see, when he's going down the line, I was locked on a Diaz, but I switched off to Mendy and I pushed Mendy back a little bit and then switched back to Diaz because if he beats if he beats Diaz by, I don't know, by something, I need Mendy to already have some space on him. Um, but yeah, so basically the ball goes out for his throw. He is going to throw it in to Beckham and he's not playing through the middle. And I blocked it with, Akpa, uh, with Zapata there. I did a roulette. I don't know if that was necessary. It kind of put me in danger. But good thing Zuma was there. And heel to heel down the line. Bring it back. And straight ball over the top. And Cavaloon just couldn't get it. Almost got it though. And now I have on Akpa Akpro. Guys, let me tell you. If you don't have an Akpa Akpro, please get one. This man's positioning, his ability to read the game 
him and Rebier work so well together. As you can see, it's all positioning for me. It's all position. It's all positioning for me. He has 93 pace right now. If I upgrade him to a 90, he, go he goes up to 96 pace. This is why you need one. All right, there we go. And I play Dembele is still in the middle for some reason. He loses the ball, but I'm going to play it back to my goalkeeper and send it long. There we go. I send it long. I did remember this gameplay. And then I have Kavaluin who's good in the air. So we got that. And then I play it down line once again. Heel to heel that. Still have the ball. And I thought it was going to go out, but heel to heel again. And then we're going to go for the cross all the way back post. But we didn't get the header there. And then Kavaluin got the header. Um, this is why I'm using two strikers that have power heading. I have Kavaluin and then I have Zapata. The reason I also have Ribia, he's 6'4", and he can get in the air if need be. You always want options. Exploit everything in this game. You always want options. But yeah, we move, boys. <laughs> we move. And now we're 2-0 no up, and Kavaluin, uh, two headers, actually. Two deflective headers um, were my goals. But goals are goals, man. Doesn't matter how they go in, they go in. And there we go again. Now he's going straight down the middle and he went back to my square one, moving into my square two. Now he's in square three, trying to play the long ball, but he can't. Zuma is already there. I heal to heal and then play the ball. I thought it would have been too late. I shouldn't have heal to heal before playing that ball. As you guys can see, I could have just played that ball straight through. But the heal to heal play the ball worked. Um, but it's just that real friend and was good enough to, uh, to keep me down. Um, and yeah, that's halftime. He's down 2 no during halftime. So as I'm saying, I have the field section out. It's all for me. It's it's all organization based. I have that's why it's so hard to break me down. And you really need like to get me off my game or to make me you know lose my head with with mental pass. Or you have to pass so f you have to like really move the ball to make me move my players or just do lob balls all the time. Maybe those will work. But until then, I'm very patient. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, the first thing I do, I'm going down that line with Zapata. And then once again, that was my mistake here, but I played it back to the goalkeeper. I shouldn't have played it. I shouldn't have played a back pass. And then we go, we pass it to Cavaluin, but I'm going to heel to heel and then straight switch on the field. Uh, and then we get the ball here and then Diaz is running with it. And then I try to cross it, but it didn't go. And then I just shot. And then now, okay. So do not, if you... <laughs> Let me break this down for you guys. I just switched back to balance because I want more player in the boxes. So I have option to cross in. I have Zuma. If you have a, a, a defender who has good heading, make sure before the screen switches, you switch to balance, not ultra attacking to balance so that your, your center backs do come in and then they can win headers if need be. Um, but yeah, so I switched to balance. And it brought out more and more of my center backs. And as you can see, I'm going to play it into, uh, who was that? Another corner. I think that was Zuma or Zapata, one of them. They're, they're both black. Um, but yeah, Dembele is going in with the cross. Uh, I'm going to cross it in. And then Langley just couldn't get the header. But uh, the sad thing is when you put in your center backs and you're getting countered, you only have your, you only have your right back and your left back uh, as playing as center backs. That's why I have Akba Akbar. Look what I'm doing here. Akba Akbar is fast enough that I can have him make that curve run to intercept the ball. And then I have second uh, second defender on. I have second defender on, as you can see. So there we go. Rabbit is also running, and I switch off of second defender. You don't want to have second defender on for more than three seconds. For more than three seconds. If you do that, then you're you're risking. So you see, um, Rabbit was running, but then I, I turned second defender off. And he stopped running. If I had kept it on, it would have probably switched to Zuma. Zuma right there. It would have switched to Zuma. And I don't want that. Zuma is automatically already going for the ball. I still am using Akpa Akpro. Notice how I've not switched off of Akpa Akpro. Because Akpa Akpro is the one going after the ball. I want to keep on to Akpa Akpro. So that my, uh, 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 my opponent knows that I'm tracking his run. And then he doesn't see. But all my other players are running back into their position. The moment you switch on to a different player. You're automatically stopping that player from going into position. If he's part of your back line. Or if he's part of your, your four. Like I told you guys before. It's all about organization. I'm broken into squares. I'm broken into squares. So I don't want to have Zuma. Uh, not Zuma. I don't want to have um, 
what's it called? I don't want to have men like Zapata coming for that ball. If it was Cavaloon that was running, I would have switched off from Cavaloon because I don't want to bring Cavaloon that low. So, Azpaipura, like I said, can go into any box because he's my center mid. He's fast enough to do all that stuff. So, and here, I have Dembele. I have Zuma. And I have Akpa Akpro. I'm supposed to have Mikelele as well. But since Mikelele is out of position, it's okay to... Uh, Akpa Akpro can basically play in any of that. So, since Mikelele is out of position, it is okay, you know, to switch things up a little bit. But right here... I'm in square three right now. So square three, I can use Mekelele, I can use Dembele, I can use Akpa Akpro, um, but I can't use Zuma because Zuma is part of the middle two. But since Zuma is already out of position, I have the option to use Zuma as well. And there we go. I'm going with Akpa Akpro. Zuma is still running behind him. Zuma is not in the box yet. And there we go. Linle is going to get a clear. He's going to make a shot and then goalkeeper catches it. Uh, I tried to throw the ball out right away. Um, but my goalkeeper is still recovering. And there we go. Diaz, I'm going to fake the shot, bring it in. Akpa Apuro is going to switch the field once again with a heel to heel to turn off my opponent. And there we go. And I'm going to switch it right back over to where I was attacking from. Diaz is going to collect. I played it right there to Zapata, have a shot. And then I was going to uh, try and get the header in, but it didn't switch my player in time. And now look, I'm switching on Ling Le, called on Mendy as second player, switched off. And now I have second player again, and I switch off again. And yeah, I'm just trying to defend here. I don't know how he got through, but I have no idea how he got through. But we defended that pretty well, as you can see. Um, once you get used to all this uh, second player on and off, you don't want it on for more than three seconds, like I said. And there we go, heel to heel with that. And now I'm on the counter. Rabi, it's still going with the heel to heels. And then goalkeeper saved that for some reason. And I was very frustrated there. Now I'm going back to balance um, to take my corner. But that should have been a goal. That should have been a three to put this game away. Um, but it just wasn't. Uh, the fact that he passed it back, as you can see, in that instant, for that quick split second, you could see me running with Diaz. Diaz is now part of my second square. I switched off of, Z of Diaz right away. And I went on to... I went into Zuma. I collected the ball, Mikaleli. And now here we go. Yeah, boys. Okay, so unfortunately, I lost the last, like, 20-ish seconds of that clip. Um, but we were already in the 90th minute, and I did win that game, 2-0. Um, but yeah, that is basically... This video is almost an hour long. It's almost an hour long. All right, so this is the team right now, uh, and I'm going to show you the Akpa Apro stats. Uh, so you can see 94 pace, 101 sprint speed, 87 acceleration, very fast center mid. That is why I have him uh, in all four of my squares. And a rabbit as well with the heel to heel. You can see a lot of my players do have heel to heel. Dembele does not, but he is still a very good player. Diaz has a... Uh, um, so basically what I'm saying is having skill move in this game is very, very, very useful. I'm not going to lie to you boys. It's very useful to have skill moves in this game. Um, but yeah, that is a little breakdown on how I defend. Basically, um, it is my first breakdown video. So um, once I'm editing it, I will see what I did, uh, what I need to improve on um, with letting you guys know uh, more things. Maybe I need to slow the game down more a little bit. Uh, to explain more things but yeah this is my first breakdown video and i hope it gives you the it gives you guys the general idea the general idea of how to to properly defend and how to go in with um with basically a mentality of you know like you gotta go in with a game plan and my game plan has already been in, uh, implemented into my head. So I like I know what I'm doing when I'm facing opponents. But for some of you guys, that's why I'm saying you might have to use uh, you might have to use um, uh, unranked matches or seasons to practice to practice because it's once you get going, it's a really fun game to play. But sometimes it just doesn't go your way. You are going to still take L's, but it's just a way to help you guys defend in the game. But yeah, if you do enjoy the video, um, make sure to drop a like, uh, subscribe if you are new. We've been getting a lot of great support on the channel recently. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.